In this video, we're going to do a graphing of turning. Using the transformations we learned in the previous video, we're going to create hyperbolas that meet the following conditions. Now, there are four questions to complete, which means by the end of this, you should have four hyperbolas that you've constructed. You answer each question by writing down the equation that you put into Desmos to create each hyperbola. Now, I'm not going to go over these four questions. Instead, I'm going to go over my own example so that you know what you need to do to complete the four questions. Whenever you come up with the correct equation for each of the following four questions, I would like you to write the solution in the comment section below. I will let you know if you got the answer correct. This will allow others to check the comment section below for the correct solutions. Anyway, moving on to the example that I'm going to do with you. The example I'm going to do is drawing a hyperbola that has asymptotes at x equals 2, y equals 1, and passes through the points 1, 4, 5, 0, and 3, negative 2. So I'm going to bring up Desmos, and I said there would be an asymptote at x equals 2. And the other asymptote was at y equals 1. So y equals 1. You'll notice that when I typed x equals 2 and y equals 1, it drew lines for me. These are my asymptotes. Now, if you ever find the grid lines annoying, like I do, you can click the settings icon and tick here where it says grid, and it'll get rid of the grid lines. Now, we are also told that it has to pass through a few points, the points being 1, 4, 5, 0, and 3, negative 2. I've entered my points here on the left, and you can see them over here on the right. You'll see that colors match up. This is a black dot, so this is 1, 4. We have a red dot, this is 5, 0 and a blue dot. This is 3, comma, negative 2. So I need to come up with an equation that's going to pass through these three points and it's going to have asymptotes where we have our purple and green line. So I'll start with a really simple equation. I think I'll start with y equals 2 over x, just my really simple hyperbola. And you'll notice that it's not passing through the points and the axes of symmetry don't match up very well either. So what I think I'll do is I want to move this up one, and you'll soon see why. If I add one at the end of my equation, you can see that it's shifted the graph up just enough so that the purple line represents an asymptote for this graph. I also need to shift it to the right because I want the green line to be an asymptote for this graph as well. To do that, I'm going to put my cursor next to x, and when I want to move it to the right, I subtract. I'll try subtracting 2. That seems to have worked. My asymptote is now in the right spot. I also need to reflect this graph over one of my asymptotes. To do that, I just need to put a negative in front of this 2 here like so. I also need to change the curvature of my graphs because they are not going over my points. I reckon if I increase my number 2 it might help. I'll try 3 first. Oh, that seems to have done it. Perfect. The three points are covered up and the asymptotes are in the right spot. So I've come up with the correct equation. This is the solution I would write down. So I would like you to do what I have done for these four questions, and as I said, put the answers in the comments below. I will let you know if you are correct. Anyway, that concludes our video on this graphing activity. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.